The City of Hamilton's climate response goes back many years and continues to grow bolder and more ambitious. It is vital that City takes decisive action to help mitigate and adapt the impacts of climate change. In 2007, City Council passed a corporate energy policy which established tangible energy and greenhouse gas emission targets for the corporation. We've had great success in implementing this policy and now exceeded our original 2020 target and currently sit at a 42% reduction in corporate greenhouse gas emissions. In March 2019, City Council declared a climate change emergency. Through this emergency declaration, Council directed staff to investigate actions to achieve an ambitious greenhouse gas emissions target of net zero by 2050. The Community Energy and Emissions Plan is now in the process of designing an evidence-based pathway on how to reach that target. Over the coming months, the City will be working hand-in-hand -hand with the community to develop the City's Community Energy and Emissions Plan. This plan is a key component of the City's response to climate change. With the help of leading industry experts, the City is well on its way to charting its path to becoming a prosperous, net-zero community. Community Energy and Emissions Planning has three components. Firstly, it is about how we use energy and generate greenhouse gas emissions how energy is used for moving around and for heating and cooling buildings and how greenhouse gas emissions are generated from landfills and from the removal of trees or green space. Secondly, and most importantly, it is about saving the climate, identifying the policies and actions that the community can take as soon as possible to reduce or eliminate greenhouse gas emissions in the medium term. And thirdly, it is about how energy and emissions impact people's quality of life and financial well-being and broader societal goals such as equity or reconciliation. Why is this process important? Communities are uniquely positioned to facilitate a collective response to the climate crisis. And this response can be a beacon of hope and inspiration in challenging times. A transition to a low carbon economy is considered by many to be the single largest business opportunity of the 21st century. A transition to a low carbon economy means good paying jobs. It means economic investment. It means lower energy costs for residents and lower energy costs for businesses. If done correctly, the low carbon transition can mean addressing energy poverty, promoting equity, and improving overall health outcomes. Here in Hamilton, opportunities for the low carbon transition include affordable home energy retrofits, renewable energy, and harnessing the industrial waste heat on our city's bayfront for community uses. As we implement and plan our Community Energy and Emissions Plan, it's these sorts of low carbon opportunities that we can use to meet our climate obligations and maximize community benefits. Hamilton is uniquely positioned to develop innovative solutions to address the climate emergency. Hamilton has already established an extensive network of integrated district energy systems in Hamilton's downtown and industrial core, along with a developing system at McMaster Innovation Park. Several innovative projects are also underway, including the expansion of district energy systems at McMaster Innovation Park, the industrial waste heat recovery project in partnership with the Hamilton Chamber of Commerce, and the integrated community energy and harvesting research project in partnership with McMaster Engineering. These projects highlight the importance of partnerships between industry, municipal government, institutions, utility providers, and other organizations to pursue innovative solutions to tackle the climate emergency. A net zero by 2050 Community Energy and Emissions Plan offers Hamilton a host of co-benefits beyond greenhouse gas reductions, from a positive return on investment to new jobs, improved air quality, to an opportunity to redress social inequities. Well, we're in a climate emergency, severe weather events, extreme heat. And so the notion of energy poverty really refers to the experience of some households or some communities that struggle to heat and cool their homes, their residences, to power their lights and their appliances. We all know that climate change disproportionately affects people and communities who can least afford to adapt to a changing climate. Hamilton is in that situation and equity is important. And this plan can bring equity to the people of Hamilton and help them through the climate emergency. Research has shown that human health is being directly and seriously impacted by our changing climate. 
Climate change impacts our health multiple ways, including increased heat-related illness and increased vector-borne disease transmission, such as Lyme and West Nile diseases. Climate change also contributes to poor air quality, with poor air quality linked to cardiovascular and respiratory illness and the increased risk of hospitalization. The implementation of the Community Energy and Emissions Plan can help improve air quality in Hamilton and protect our population from exposure to harmful air pollution that can cause cardiovascular and respiratory illnesses. Through the implementation of this plan, we can improve air quality and public health now and for future generations. Global clean technology activity is expected to exceed $2.5 trillion by 2022, and there is an enormous opportunity for Canadian businesses in clean technology to grow and capture a large market share while improving environmental outcomes. In addition to that, it is estimated that investing in building energy efficiency upgrades can result in the creation of over 3,000 jobs locally per year. So, by implementing the Community Energy and Emissions Plan, we have the opportunity to reduce energy costs and keep millions of dollars in the local economy to be reinvested into our community, while also attracting global private investment. The Community Energy and Emissions Plan is a community-wide, long-range plan. We all need to do our part. Residents, businesses and institutions, industry, as well as the City of Hamilton all have a responsibility to take action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Widespread community involvement in developing and implementing the plan is critical to ensure we build a Hamilton that is sustainable, climate resilient and inclusive. We have a committed group of individuals representing a wide variety of stakeholders on our stakeholder advisory committee that are working with the city's project team to develop the plan. But we need every Hamiltonian to learn about the plan and get involved. As this plan is a long-term, community-wide plan, we need all Hamiltonians to get involved. Throughout the first half of 2021, there will be multiple opportunities for the public to participate in the development of the plan. This includes a virtual public information meeting scheduled for January of 2021. For project updates and more information on future engagement events and to sign up for our mailing list, please visit the Hamilton Community Energy and Emissions Plan webpage at hamilton.ca slash CEEP. All engagement events will be hosted on our Engage Hamilton webpage at engage.hamilton.ca slash CEEP. We encourage all Hamiltonians to get involved.